I was going to head up there to do a video, but I decided not to. But what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Video that I've been wanting to make for a while that I'm haven't real been real sure how to go about doing is called um if it's not broke don't fix it but if it's really broke don't even mess with it i know that don't make a whole lot of sense but you're gonna get what i'm saying here in just a minute we had a we had a pretty good day at well day yesterday i uh, ran it well first i ran to town got um got some stuff and uh later that night we went with uh snoop and caitlin and their, their boy riddick uh to big restaurant then we went to look at lights so pretty nice but um today i believe now is thursday and if i'm not mistaken i think it's the 21st so counting today christmas is counting today christmas is five days away that's nuts but anyhow i wanted to come out here and make a special video like i said earlier that i wasn't really sure how to go about but i just want to give you a disclaimer right now i'm going to be talking about a couple subjects that might be, might sound kind of hard for a couple people to hear those kind of people to hear but you know once again this is just my opinion you don't have to agree with me but I do ask if you if you do disagree with me just please do it in a civil way in a non-threatening way um, you're you're free to make your point just Please don't make any threats down in the comments below. You don't have to put a lot. You don't have to drop me a like on this video. If you feel in your heart that you don't have to watch this video or want to watch this video, you're not going to hurt my feelings at all. Just I'm going to talk about some subject matter that I think needs to be said um, along the lines of this video. You know, the theme of this video, if you will. So. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I mean, what what does that mean? To me, that means something really, really good, like uh, like a brick house, for example. You know, um, if you, let's say that you have a brick house, but you want a log cabin. You know, um, a log cabin. Well, unless you tr unless the wood's treated properly, and unless you. They use uh, really big logs for the framework support and the actual build. Um, it, 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 it's going to stay up for a long time. But, you know, there's always a chance with any building in general. But whereas brick, you know, brick can survive just about anything. They can survive high winds. They keep heat in really good. They're very well insulated. Whereas this right here, this is siding. I'm sitting, um, I'm sitting uh, to the side of our garage here. So, um, this is this is siding. You know, if we get high winds that are strong enough, I mean, this siding could just literally peel off. Whereas uh, Burt House, the worst that could happen, I guess, if if the wind picks something up, it could slam against it or chip it maybe even bust a window if it's if it's in the extreme case enough but that's a good example of if it's not broke don't fix it you know you got a great brick house yeah it'd be nice to have a log cabin because a log cabin is it's got like a kind of calm serene coolness about it old school retro type feel but you know, you got a great um, brick house, so yeah, it'd be nice to have that down the road probably, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Now, this is where I might get into the more touchy type uh, discussion. 
but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But if it's really broke, then don't mess with it. And I'm going to tell you what I mean here. So, I'm going to start with our uh, legal system first. So, there's, to put it simply, there's no type of repercussion anymore. Like, people will go out and rob a bank, smoke weed, do illegal drugs, do a hit and run, uh, get charged with battery, get charged with uh, having a firearm without a license, or whatever. There's a whole long list of offenses that we, we could get into here, but... Um, and it seems like this is happening a lot more often than it used to. But, uh, let's say that there's this uh, person or persons who commits battery, assault, um, robs a place, and whatever else you can think of. And the worst they get is a misdemeanor, a slap on the wrist, and a year of probation. Battery is a very big thing. Okay, assault is a very big thing, and robbing a place is a very big thing. In my opinion, it's a big thing. It's a big problem that needs to be dealt with. But, you know, our system, they'd sooner just give them a slap on the wrist and give them probation versus giving them actual time in jail or prison, correctional office or whatever, than having to, so they actually maybe learn something versus just basically letting them go. You know, don't do it again, blah, blah, be on your way. That's what's wrong with our system. No one wants to take that extra step to make sure that they don't do it again. And really that aggravates the living tar out of me. Now I'm going to get into another sort of touchy topic that might get this video flagged. Might get it erased. If it does, it does. And you know, there's other people out there that are like this the same way that I am. That, um share their opinion, share their thoughts. And you know, their videos haven't got shut down, but if, if this does get shut down, you know, that's probably why. But once again, this is just my opinion. You don't have to agree with me. You don't have to comment, but let's get into it here. Um, over the last several years, LGBTQ plus whatever it's called, you know, gays, lesbians, trans, girls wanting to be boys, boys wanting to be girls, and whatever else. It's gotten really big here within the last few years. I mean, I know I know it was there before, but here just within the last... Let me think a minute. But here, just within the last five years, it's gotten really up there in terms of popularity. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and say it right now. I do not support LGBTQ, whatever it's called. I believe that when you're conceived, um, you get your gender. Your gender is assigned to you by God, Okay. And I'm not trying to bring religion into this much, but this is something that I feel really needs said, especially the way everything is today. You know, it's aggravating because I see it as wrong, okay? But something else that really aggravates me is people see it as right and if you see it as wrong that they're doing something wrong or whatever then you're the bad guy you're the homophobic because you don't like gays you're a hater because you're not into lesbians you're uh you're a bad person because you don't support lgbq or whatever 
if I'm a bad person because I don't support that, you need to really think about your decisions. Because I'm telling you right now, I'm not a homophobic. I'm not a hater. I just have common sense. And common sense has told me I shouldn't want to be a, a girl. I shouldn't want to marry a guy or have a guy boyfriend or whatever. I shouldn't want to wave a pride flag around. I don't support it. And if, and it, I'm not really going to say if you had a problem with that, you can leave. But if you have a problem with me not supporting what you think is right, then I'm sorry, but I don't know what to tell you. You're not going to change my belief. You're just not going to. And that's the case of, sorry, I've said this a couple times, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But if it's really broke, don't even mess with it. I mean, you know, June, the month June, is the time where those people kind of celebrate um, their, who they are. I'm just going to say it as that, because... I'm not going to get into it because if I say something wrong, you know, I might make someone mad or whatever. I really don't care. <laughs> but <coughs> those people see like the world in black and white almost like it's their way or the highway. Well, I, well I'm telling you right now, not everyone is going to be like that. Which, when you think about it, is kind of sad because there's a lot of people who are like that. But occasionally you find either a one person or a certain group of people who believe like you believe. <coughs> but that's pretty much it. <laughs> But anyhow, guys, like I said, I hope this video don't get flagged because I think it's a good video. I think it's talking about something that needs to be said and something that's not said enough. But hope you guys take care. Um, I got a couple uh, special videos coming up. Sorry, I'm. <laughs> it's actually pretty cold out here, but it's like 50, I believe. But they're... Uh, it's kind of cloudy and the sun's kind of being hit in here. But, um, I got a, sorry, I got a couple of special videos coming up. Um, I'm interviewing my cousin, hopefully, who um, is a quarterback and they just went to state for the uh, third time. But, I'm um, going to interview him. Got a couple of cool Christmas shorts coming up, hopefully. And, uh, Oh, yeah, um, one more thing. I'm, uh, well, <laughs> that's, that's gonna come later, but I am wearing jeans for the first time in a while. I know that's kind of silly to show on, to do, but <laughs> I just think it's funny, but, uh, one last thing, uh, shout out to Schoolcraft Family Farmstead. For the awesome night we had last night, um, I I, I kind of feel like I should have did a like a, a short or something, but I did it. So, you know, um, maybe next year if I can remember. I don't really know, but uh, yeah, shout out to Schoolcraft Family Farmstead with Snoop, uh, their boy Riddick, and Caitlin, of course, but. He's at 400. Oh, and by the way, I wanted to met 400 subscribers. And by the way, I wanted to mention this. Um, thank you to whoever subscribed to my channel. I uh, think I got four of them. I'm almost at 80. I think that's incredible. Um, 
if you can think of any ideas or whatever that I should do for, let's see, let's, I know I'm technically a ways away from this, but let's shoot for 300 subscribers by, let me think, by next Next September or next October. Can we do that? I think we can do that. But yeah, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Drop me a like. Uh, hit the bell notification so you'll be notified when I post a new video. Um, but that's pretty much it. Like I said, watch out for those uh, Christmas Eve videos I got coming up. And that interview video with uh, Jackson. But anyhow, take care guys.